They say the secret of your success in that movie, uh, The Big Boss, which yeah. was such a success here and rocketed you to stardom in Asia, was that you did your own fighting. Uh, as an expert in the, in the various martial arts mm -hmm. in China, what did you think of the fighting that you saw in the movies that you studied before you became a star? Well, I mean, definitely in the beginning I had no intention uh, or, or whatsoever that what I, what I was practicing and what I'm still practicing now would lead to this yeah, <laughs> to know. begin with. Uh, but martial art has a very, very deep meaning as far as my life is concerned because uh, as an actor, as a martial artist, as a human being, all these I have learned from martial art. Maybe for our audience who doesn't know what it means, you might explain exactly right. what you mean by right. martial art. Right. Uh, martial art include all the combative arts like karate or judo. karate, judo, Chinese kung fu or Chinese boxing, whatever you call it. Uh, all those, you see, like Aikido, Kori, I can go on and on and on. But it's a competitive form of fighting. I mean, it's not, some of them became sport, but some of them are still not. I mean, they use, for instance, kicking to the groin, jacking fingers at the eyes and things like that. No wonder you're successful in the <laughs> Chinese movies. They're full of this kind of action anyway. They needed a guy like you could... Violence, man. <laughs> so you didn't have to use a double when you moved into the motion mm. picture world here. You did all yourself. Mm. Can you break five or six uh, pieces of wood with your hand or your foot? I'll probably break my hand and foot. <laughs> <laughs> but tell me a little bit... Uh, you set up a school in Hollywood, didn't you, for people like yes. uh, James Garner and Steve McQueen and the others? Yes. Why would they want to learn Chinese martial art? Because of a movie role? Not really. I mean, uh, most of them, you see, uh, to me, uh, at least the way that when, I mean, when I teach it, all type of knowledge ultimately means self-knowledge. Mm -hmm. So therefore, they are coming in to, I mean, for, uh, and ask me to teach them not so much of how to defend themselves or how to do somebody in, rather, they want to learn to express themselves through some movement, be it anger, be it uh, determination, or whatsoever. So in other words, what I'm saying therefore is that he is paying me to show him in combative form the art of expressing the human body. Which is acting in a sense, isn't it? Well, or it would be useful, too, for an actor to have It's... One. I mean, I might, it, it, it <clears throat> might sound too philosophical, but it's unacting, acting, or acting, unacting. If you... You've lost me. <laughs> <laughs> I have, right? So what I'm saying, actually, you see, I mean, it's a combination of both. I mean, here it is, the natural instinct, and here is control. You are to combine the two in harmony, not... If you have one to the extreme, you will be very unscientific. If you have another to the extreme, you become all of a sudden a mechanical man, no longer a human being. So you, it is a successful combination of both. So therefore, it is not only, I mean, so therefore it's not pure naturalness or unnaturalness. The ideal is unnatural naturalness or natural unnaturalness. Yin yang, eh? Right, man, that's it. <laughs> yeah, one of your students, uh, James Coburn, played a, in a movie called Iron Man Flint, in which he used karate. Is that what he learned from you? Uh, he learned it after. Oh, after he went. Not, he, oh, yeah. After he played in Iron Man. Right, right. You see, actually, I do not teach, you know, karate because I do not believe in styles anymore. I mean, I do not believe that there is such thing as like a Chinese way of fighting or the, or the Japanese way of fighting or whatever way of fighting. Because unless human beings have three arms and four legs, we will have a different form of fighting. Mm. But basically, we have only two hands and two feet. So styles tends to... Uh, 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 not only separate men, you know, because they have their own doctrines and then the doctrine became the gospel truth.
you know, that you cannot change, you know. And, but if you do not have styles, if you just say, well, here, here I am, you know, as, as a human being, how can I express myself totally and completely? Now, that way, you won't create a style because style is a crystallization, you know. I mean, that way, it's a process of continuing growth. You talk about uh, Chinese boxing. How does it differ from, say, our kind of boxing? Well, first, we use the feet. Uh -huh, that's, that's and then we use the elbow, and <laughs> use the thumb. Too. <laughs> <laughs> you name it, man. You use, use it all. <laughs> you have to, you see, because I mean that is the expression of the human body. I mean the f everything. I mean you know not just the hand. And when you're talking about combat, well, I mean if, if it if it is a sport now, now you're talking about something else. You have regulations, you have rules. But when you're talking about fighting, as it is. Oh, yes with no rules. A real fighter. Well then baby, you better train every part of your body.